the war just started a couple of hours ago. The war just started a couple of hours ago. The war just started a couple of hours ago. Let's look at some of the statistics. Strategic warfare overview. I see that this is where we are going to see our losses in naval, air and land. Currently they are at all at zero for us and for our enemies because um, no combat has yet occurred however we can overview some of the national statistics allied army comparison it looks like we have 465 infantry regiments. Not so bad. 5 motorized, 40 armor. I like that. We're gonna get some more of these. Uh, overall, the army is very standard. Nationalist China. Whoa. These were the only ships, ships synced in the world. Resources flows, home production, into network. Almost everything goes into network as you can see. That's how many supplies we need. And here we can um, see strategic resources. And who has them? Helium. It looks like America has quite a few of these. We have quite a few too. And we're gonna get some more. Brigades. And where they're stationed at. Who is the commanding Army Corps Theater? Orders. Brigade stats. Obviously we have quite a few of these. Almost 500. All units. So we have uh, 583 brigades. Fuel consumption, 125 will consume fuel. We currently have enough of it and plenty. Number of units. I like that we have 40 armor brigades. This will uh, give us a proper punching power. Air units, 19 interceptors, 8 tactical bombers. That's great. And let's adjust some of these. Statistics for our industrial capacity. And we can currently invest just a little bit for the Panzer. Until the upgrade finishes, then we'll have a lot more. So let's see how the war is gonna turn out. We're already winning <clears throat> a few battles. I'm going to turn this off. I think they're losing solely because they don't have enough. They don't have enough uh, organization to fight us. I'm gonna go with the blitzing stance just for now. An air offense on the west. And so 
we are going to be able to see how things are working out for us. I, as you may notice, I haven't invited Italy to the Axis, and I'm not even sure if I should be doing that. I don't really want to do that. Now, let's see how this war is turning out. Netherlands is mobilizing. We're currently only at war against the French. Let's see. And there's no way for us to actually be the French. So what we're gonna do... Is we're going to attack the Netherlands. And uh, one by one. This is how we are going to be the allies. We're not attacking Belgium just yet. First we're gonna deal with the Netherlands. Our forces are under attack. It's fine. It looks like uh, the army, the here, has stationed a lot of um, command units right there in this uh, patch of land near Konigsberg. Um, they probably wanted this to be some kind of a super command area. As you can see, many armies, army group is here, um, quite far away from the rest of Nazi Germany. And um, now they got attacked. They're being attacked quite heavily. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six divisions are coming in. And we have three here with lots of units like these. But um, we are going to soon engage them from all sides ourselves. And that's it. The Netherlands, they look like they are retreating. It looks like I'm going to have to change a few of these objectives. Our forces are under attack. Well, that's very unfortunate because they instantaneously retreated. We should somehow relieve them, but they just don't know if there's anything that we can do here. If these units get lost, we would lose quite a bit, actually, in our um, management. Many, many divisions would be otherwise... very well controlled. I'm gonna take the command of these units here and issue an attack order into dancing. It looks like we're suffering from a very 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 bad supply issues and I think that that's the biggest problem that we currently have is uh, simply a lack of supply and because of that we cannot fight effectively I see that we did manage to defend ourselves in the dancing area I'm gonna push some more supplies in The army isn't moving fast. But it's fine. Ok, 
kind of to join the allies. We should soon see all kinds of invasions. It looks like the Polish have lost a lot. They were unable to defeat us in Königsberg here. It would have been a great victory, an easy victory really. But they just probably got lost. We don't have enough supplies here, but when we got the supplies, as you can see, things have turned out to be quite well. And look at all these Panzer divisions. Malt of Ribbon Truck back. Yeah, we're gonna honor, honor, honor this alliance. We conquered Poland. We're gonna say yes. And uh, that will give them a lot of land. Obviously. However... The next thing I'm going to do... Is I'm going to attack Hungary. Exactly. Probably Hungary and Romania. Maybe I even should attack countries like. Bulgaria, but I'm not entirely sure about that. We shouldn't even be attacking these guys, but... Who cares? Quite a few countries are on our side here. I'm uh, declaring war on Belgium now. We will conquer them. As you can see. These forces here on the Western Front are actually very, very small. They're not really tough. But uh, we have an overwhelming force. A lot of IC or industrial capacity. We are able to do a reasonable damage. Now that we are at the gates of Hungary, we are declaring war. And we're gonna conquer them. So, why do I conquer them? It's solely because the units glitch out. As you can see, their infantry units glitched out. It's a known bug, but uh, I couldn't fix it and I didn't want it to go without the sprite packs that I bought. And that's it. By blitzing, let's see how well we're using our interceptors and it looks like we are using them as you can see they are reasonably damaged so it's really good to know that we are fighting hostile bombing hunger is bombing our troops who's fighting here this division it looks like they have 30 30 something organization we should be able to just punch through with their um, lands. I like that we got the land that we occupied here. They always had a good army. I always like Hungary on the Nazi side. 
Nazi Germany side or on fascist Italy side. So currently we have 149 for our beloved Panzer divisions. We will have uh, quite a few. Uh, 40 in total soon. They will all be assigned to the Easter Front later. And so we will have a lot of fun. Artillery barrels. We don't need these anymore. Not, not now. We'll need them later. They have annexed the Baltic countries. So as I mentioned to you before, we took uh, Memel from Lithuania and um, it would have went to the Soviet hands otherwise. So it definitely was not a mistake. Actually this war here it drags out a little bit and um, I don't like it. It should have been a lot easier, Victor. Currently we're having quite a bit of a... Oh, fighting right there. We're still on a blitzing stance. As you can see, there's no way for us to fight through these lines here. that are super well defended the only way for us is through Belgium and I'm sure that they need some more troops so I'll have to give them an army group I'll give them the second army group so that they could deal with the French I'm sure that the second army group Is free to do that now. I kind of hoped that um, we'll we will be able to deal with Belgium, and then I'll send the necessary reinforcements at the Western Front from the Eastern. I figured that the beating down Poland and Hungary quickly was more important than being stuck fighting the French and the Eastern enemies at the same time so I just concentrated like 70% of my force to have a quick victory in the East and then transfer the needed troops here on the Western Front that has cost me quite a lot of supplies but um, but doing just fine. It's good. The fate of France. Let's see. Finding ourselves unexpected at war with France, we must decide on our goals for this war. Should we take the historical road and occupy the north and west coast while allowing a puppet regime to administer in the southern areas of colonies? <clears throat> okay, that would give us a sort of a um, chance to avoid an attack from the south. And um, I actually am unsure but uh, I'll go with uh, full occupation of France solely because I feel so confident that uh, I want to do it and even if that uh, is gonna cost us some uh, proper invasions let's see as you can see we're not really attacking the Belgium it's only nine divisions that's not much, that's not much at all. 
but uh, the enemy is not concentrating here. I think that the British and the French are not going to defend Belgium. They are all about um, doing something else. I'm gonna pop at Luxembourg. And I make it into another uh, Switzerland, so to speak. So when the war ends, if during the Cold War, so to say, we'll have this sort of a Luxembourg that's a puppet of Nazi Germany, but they would be a window to the other world. Because the way I look at it, after the Second World War, if we, as the Nazis, win, will need Switzerland and Luxembourg to just be a sort of a financial gateway for people to do business during a cold war that would last maybe 20 years after the main world war. Obviously after that everybody that what world war <clears throat> would be at ease. And guess what? We have sent 20 additional divisions on the Belgian border. We have even been pushed out out of some provinces and now the French are gathering here too and um, we are we are here fighting let's see Invite a faction. I, th I kind of suspect that there is a possibility for us to invite them. Okay, let's see what else can we do here. I'm going to attack. Romania for its oil reserves and a larger front with the Soviet Union. After that, hopefully, we won't have to fight anybody else and I'll be inviting nations to the Axis. We've got a veteran army now, which made our divisions just 5% more effective. Plus giving us some research options at the same time. Great. Everything looks... Good enough, besides some fighter research. Which can be researched now. What about some of these bombers? Probably I should work with them a little bit later. We can start the nuclear research now. So far everything looks in order. Infantry. Warfare research. Okay, let's do that. Maybe that's going to increase the speed for the research. So the fighting is going on. As you can see, they have created a proper defensive line here, and we just have to kind of plow through this. And the war is ours then, <clears throat> because I suspect that they're all really weak. If we can actually punch through, and as you can see, we're already punched through here. They shouldn't be able to take this from us. And we're winning on other sides too.
so far we're doing just fine finds a division 